Hi, my name is Chad Adams with Skelton Key in St. Louis, Missouri, and this is our fifth video in our series on text parsing. The substitute function can be used to replace a certain string of text with a different string of text. Let's take a look at an example. We got our text uh, block we're going to work with. I'm going to ask it to um, return or replace John and replace it with James. Okay, when we hit evaluate now, we see here that John William Doe is now James William Doe. Okay. Also, the substitute function can be nested. So if we wrap these in brackets, then I can just enter a different set of brackets here and give it another, another parameter. So in this case, we're going to say to replace the carriage returns with a space dash space. Okay. And we evaluate that. We'll see that our result is instead of character returns, we've got the dash in, the, in between the names there. Um, also, these substitutions work from left to right and in cascade. So if we enter um, another set of brackets, I could say replace my space dash space um, with say a space space x space space something of that nature, and we'll see those swap out. Um, now, the space dash space wasn't there in the original um, set of text, but because it got substituted in, then this last uh, set of parameters can, can function and can actually work on something. Um, it's also important to notice the substitute function is case sensitive. We just did uh, pattern count and position, which are not case sensitive. Uh, substitute is case sensitive. What that means is if I take John and I just replace it with a, a lowercase John, then you'll see this go back to John because it's looking for an exact match including uh, the cap capitalization of the case of that word. So if I take this back out, put in capital J, then we get James William. In this example, I want to talk about the get value function. Um, this is similar to the left, right, and middle value functions, but it is a little different in that you just feed it what value you want. For example, I can give it my list of values. In this case, my text block has a list of values in it. And the value number I want, I want the first value. That's just going to grab everything on line one, essentially. If I take this back and I say I want value two, it'll get everything on line two. Value three, line three, and so on and so forth. I find this very um, useful, especially when I'm in some sort of a looping script. I'm processing a value or a list of values. I can uh, increment a counter variable and then just pass my counter variable here as, as the... Uh, um, the value to return and it'll loop right through my list and, and process that for me. Um, it's also good to note that this value function does not put on the carriage return on the end the way right, left, and middle values does. So um, I've got get value, no carriage return on the end. 